You know, you know, some of that environmental news we hear can be bad news and be a little depressing sometimes. Things like you know, global warming, greenhouse gas emissions, air pollution, acid rain. You know. But you know what? It, it, there's no point in getting depressed. The only point is that we can do something about it. Collectively, if we all take action, we can truly make a difference. Each individual can make a difference. Now, I'll just tell you one little way an individual can make a difference. This is one of my favorites, actually, and that is grow your own. If you have any room in your backyard, try growing some vegetables, tomatoes, Swiss chard, some fruits, whatever it is, to find out what grows best in, in your area, go to your local garden store or nursery and ask them. Now let me tell you why it helps the environment to grow your own vegetables or fruits at home. That's because on average, any of the food that we buy in the grocery stores has traveled an average of 2,000 miles. It's, it's an unbelievable amount. It's almost hard to believe, but it's true. That means when you buy an orange or an apple or celery, that piece of vegetable or produce is traveling an average of 2,000 miles. So if you grow it in your own backyard, you have eliminated an entire 2,000 mile trip that it otherwise would have had traveled. And that helps reduce the amount of emissions and pollution into the air. And the other added benefit, you get better taste than anything you can ever buy in a store because you pick it fresh and you eat it yourself. And I can speak from experience, it's the best tasting vegetables in the world when you grow in your own backyard. And the other thing I know when I grow vegetables in my own backyard, I know there's no chemicals in them. There's no pesticides, there's no herbicides, no toxins have been used to raise my own, my own food. So that's something I highly recommend. Um, if you don't have room in your yard or you live in a place where you don't have a garden, there's things you can do too. You can find out where your local farmer market is and buy your vegetables locally. And when you buy them, ask and make sure they were bought locally. And usually that food is much fresher than food that was shipped from overseas or from some distant locale. The other thing you can do, some cities have their own community gardens where you pay an annual membership fee and you can actually grow some of your own vegetables in the community garden. It's a great way to grow your own vegetables and also meet people who are also fellow gardeners and pick up some tips along the way. Now, if this is something that interests you, I have a wonderful resource you can check out. It's the Master Gardeners. The Master Gardeners are an organization that's known throughout the country that helps people learn how to garden and grow their own vegetables and do other things. And they even offer a free training program to help you along the way. If you'd like more information, check out the Master Gardeners website and it'll, and it'll help you live a little more gently on the earth by growing your own.